Circuit arrangements are a particular subset of questions you'll get in um, pros and cons, and there's really just one trick to which I want you to understand conceptually. Okay? Let's have a look at a normal situation. You're just arranging, for instance, let's go with four because it's nice and easy. You're arranging four things in four spots. Four things in four spots. Okay? So if I do this, we know that there are four ways, four things you can pick for the first spot, and then three, and then two, and then one. Right? So that's why this becomes four factorial. N factorial depending on n spots. No problems, okay? But, but, when you take the same four people, right, and you want to place them around a table, okay, there's one minor difference, okay, which is that if you put, for instance, if you put A here and then B here and then C here and then D here, okay, that's, that's one of the possible arrangements. Do you notice that had the first person, let's call them A, had they chosen to sit over here, right? But then suppose like um, <laughs> A's, A's right-handed, and it's like, oh, okay, I don't want the next person who arrives, like, I don't want to sit on, on your right because you'll, you'll keep on bumping with your chopsticks or whatever, okay? So B, the second person, hey, it happens, right? Um, two people in my family are left-handed, so we have lots of fun with situations like this. B is going to go to the left, and you know, suppose they're all right-handed. So then C will go to the left of him, and then D will go to the left of him, because they're like, oh, well, there are no more spots left, right? Now, when you have a look at this arrangement, let me just redraw it down here. This green arrangement and the blue one, they're the same arrangement. They are exactly the same arrangement. If you were to ask each of the people, you know, who's to your right, okay? If you ask them under this situation, they'll all give you an answer. And if you ask them in this situation, they will still give you the same answer. The same person is to my right every time. All you have to do is just turn your head 90 degrees to the right. And you're like, oh, there it is, right? A, B, C, D, it's identical, okay? So what you've done is you have overcounted how many different ways can I keep on spinning this table around and have the same arrangement? And the answer is four ways, okay? So I can think about this in two approaches, right? I can say four factorial is fine, right? But you've always overcounted by however many chairs you've got, right? So this is therefore not going to be four factorial. It'll be four factorial, and I'm overcounting by how many seats I have, right? Because I can keep shifting them around. However, then you'll notice, right, in the same way that we did here, you're like, well, that's just going to be three factorial. Instead of n factorial, it'd be n take away one factorial. Now, why would that be? How can that unlock a helpful way to think about this? Okay. Think about this again. When you're the first person, right? So you arrive and you look at this setup. Okay. Now, when you look at this, all of the, ta the tables, sorry, all of the chairs around there, they look identical to you, don't they? Like sitting here to sitting here to sitting here to sitting here doesn't make a difference to you, right? They're all the same. There's no people to say, oh, who's on my left or who's on my right, okay? So therefore, this first person actually contributes, they don't contribute any extra choices, right? The first person doesn't really have a choice because all the choices are identical, right? I guess another way of phrasing that is there is, inverted commas, one place to sit, which is anywhere. Okay, they're all of the same. If A was here, 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 or here, it's like, well, this set of cutlery looks the same, and the same person who's on the left is on my right. You know, I'm in Club Loansville, right? So therefore, the first person contributes nothing, right? But once he sits down, or she sits down, <coughs> this then becomes the same as our normal problem, right? These positions, three, and then two, and then one, they have an order to them, because you're either going to be on A's left or A's right or opposite A, right? So therefore, this is just three positions to fill in any particular way. That's why it's N take away one factor. Okay? So, all this comes down to is when you see circles, right? Just make sure you're not thinking of N, you're thinking of N take away one, and then treat all of your conditions and restrictions in exactly the same way that we've already been doing. Okay? Any questions? Right. Yeah. Where it's like a specific case where uh, it would actually turn out to be like trying to arrange people in a certain way. Did you say circular motion? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yes, yes. So, um, 
what you need to do is pay careful attention to the restrictions you're given, okay? So for instance, this exact one that I mentioned, right? Like, oh, um, you know, Mr. Wu doesn't want to sit to the left of his brother because his brother is left-handed, okay? Which is exactly how I've lived my life, okay? <laughs> therefore, therefore, what you would do is you would fix my brother in a spot and then you work out the rest of these guys and you just say, I can't sit there, right? So you'd say, well, I've got two to choose from and then you fill the others in two factorial ways. Okay. So, in some way though, you've got to turn this from a circle, right, where the positions don't matter, where it's like, sit wherever you like, to something where it's like, okay, this, and then this, and then this, there are my restrictions. Okay? Yeah? Ms. Bill also talked about, like, necklaces and bracelets and how you can flip them over and stuff. Like, I'll yeah. put yeah. that in um, I've sort of already taken that into account here. When you talk about flipping something over, okay, so they're thinking about this. Um, versus this. Okay, so I've flipped these over, okay? Now, I wouldn't worry too much about the way that was just mentioned because when you have a look at these, are they the same? So I'm going to repeat that original question I said to you, right? Which is that if I asked all of these people, who's on your left, right? Are you going to give me the same answer for one versus the other? No. And the answer is no, you're not. So this is a different arrangement, right? This could make the difference between me butting elbows with my brother all or dinner, like, and for a Chinese maker, it's like three hours, right? Versus having a really lovely evening. These are not the same arrangement. Okay, so you can't just flip over. These are different permutations. So I can think of them as like automatas. Don't worry about that. Okay. Okay. Um, where you would start to worry about that is if you have like a series of identical elements, but we already know how to deal with identical elements, right? If I was arranging uh, blue, green, blue, green, then yes, you can flip over, but the flipping has already been taken care of in saying, well, yeah, I can swap the two identical ones, right? That's, your, that's what the effect of flipping has. So I've, I've overcounted. So you've taken care of that. It's all good. Okay?